earlier we already generated an expression for the linear expansivity where we stated that um, that the final length of uh, a wire when heated is L the area so we if we have uh, a plate like this so where this is the original area so we have L1 and the B1 as the original length and the breadth. So if we happen to hit this, this plate, so it is going to increase in length as well as what? The, uh, the breadth. So we are going to now have B2 and L2 as well as what? Area 2. So from the area of a rectangle, we know that A1 is going to be L1, B1 originally. But when we now hit this, so we are going to have A2, which is equal to um, L2 multiplied by B2. Okay, so this is the original area before hitting it. And this is the area when it uh, must have been heated. Okay, so this is the final area. So what are we saying? We are simply saying that the area expansivity of a, a, a material is the increase in area per unit area per degree rise in the temperature. So in expressing that, so we are going to be using beta to represent the uh, area expansivity. So um, if we say that beta or the area expansivity is increase, increase. Okay, so we now have that... Uh, the um, area expansivity is area 2 minus area 1 all over area 1 uh, multiplied by the temperature change, which is theta 2 minus theta 1, okay, minus theta 1. Let us make um, A to the subject. So we have that A2 minus A1 change in theta, so theta 2 minus theta 1. Okay, and then finally we have A2 is equal to A1 bracket 1 plus uh, beta change in theta. Okay, so remember we are taking um, change in theta, change in theta to be equal to this. Okay, so that's what we have here. So this is the expression for the area expansivity. Now, if we want to now relate it with the um, the linear expansivity, so we are going to be taking making use of this. So, if actually this is the increase in length, so that means that the increase in breadth here will equally be given like this. So, it's equally going to be B2, which is equal to uh, B1 bracket 1 plus the alpha change in theta. So, this is going to be our increase in breadth so from here we are going to now see that area 2 is equal to l2 multiplied by b2 which is the length and the, the uh, breadth of uh, the uh, okay so substituting this for this and then this for this so we can now see that a2 here is going to be and then we have a2 is equal to L1, B1, multiplying this and this, in bracket 1 times 1 is 1, and then 1 times alpha change in theta is alpha change in theta, and then alpha change in theta multiplied by this is alpha change in theta, okay? And alpha change in theta multiplied by alpha change in theta is alpha square change in theta square. Okay, so 1 multiplied by L2 is actually A1, so we are going to be doing a one here one plus uh, this plus this will give us um, two alpha change in theta and then plus alpha square change in theta square okay so this is it so um from our understanding of linear expansivity we found that the linear expansivity is always very small so because of that when you square the linear expansivity the number we are going to be getting is going to be very small tending to zero. So that means that this is going to be completely irrelevant. It's equal to A1 bracket 1 plus what? 2 alpha change in theta. And that remains um, our 
expression for the linear expansivity. So we are going to be comparing these two equations, equation 2, equation 1. 2 uh, is equal to A1 here and the 1 plus 2 alpha change in theta here. In this case, we have uh, A, uh, A2 is equal to A1 and then 1 plus beta change in theta. So we can see that the only difference, the only thing different is 2 alpha here and then I have a beta here. So that means what expansivity is actually that uh, the um, area expansivity is equal to 2 uh, linear expansivity. So that's the expression that we are trying to generate from.